So guys, this is a simple question because it's 100%, 100% based on the seller's needs. If the sell, let me give you an example, let me break it down. If you, you should know by the end of the listing presentation, and just so you guys know, I knew this before I even went on the listing, but you should know what the goals and the intentions of the seller are. For example, if they have to move to Michigan because they're relocating in 90 days, and you being the expert you are, you know that, guess what, the average days on market is 30, you really have 60 days from me meeting with the seller to actually get the house listed. Now, we also know that it takes 30 days to close a deal, 30 to 45 days nationally. So I have 30 days to put on the market and to get it sold before they need to move to Michigan. I mean, it's what you're doing is you're taking their goal and you're building backwards to understand their needs and to give them real, true data of, hey. So following up is, it depends on the seller's needs. It's that simple. I, to me, right after the listing, I sent a handwritten personal note. I overnighted it so it looked like, wow, this person's plain, real. You know, he's all about it and he's true. So they saw that I wasn't afraid to, 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 to execute. And then number two, I'd follow up with them via phone and email based upon their needs. I mean, guys, you have to listen to your sellers. You have to understand their goals. You have to ask the hard questions so that way when you do follow up, it's it's you're not bugging them, right? And Or you're, you're, you're not, not following up and now they've listed with, somebody else in your market. I mean, analyze your sellers.